As often, um, talking just a little bit about a GA4 issue that we have run into that in the upcoming months, we're all going to have to know about and understand. So really what I'm talking about here is Google Signals and its relationship with reporting identity in GA4. So essentially, in Google Analytics 4, you can change your reporting identity. There's three different options right now. Default one that is turned on by default is blended. There's also observed, and then there's device-based. Blended is really the one that GA4 has been promoting. It's kind of the one we hear about when we're saying GA4 can do all these cool things like connecting users. So really what Blended uses is it uses a couple different ways of to do that. First one it uses is user ID. User ID is essentially when someone signs into your site. GA4 is able to track them across your site, even if they do something like close the window, change devices, all of that. The being signed into your site allows GA4 to track that. The second way that they can really track that is through Google Signals. Now, Google Signals is a proprietary system that Google has come up with that allows them to track people across devices. Not a lot of details on what exactly this uses, but we do know that it uses people who are signed into their Google account and have consented to sharing their data. Again, we don't know a ton about this. It is a proprietary data system. Super cool. And again, this is the way that Google is able to track users across their devices. It's allowing GA4 to like deduplicate users. If like someone closes the window and then opens it up in a different browser, Google signals might allow that GA4 to deduplicate that users. However, there's several downsides to Google signals that make it so we don't necessarily always want it. I will say all our clients, we've recommended they turn it on. So most of our clients have access to it and it is necessary and required for remarketing. So in general, we do want it to be on. However, some of the downsides about it are, number one, we don't know a ton about it and we don't really know its accuracy. This is a proprietary data analytics system that Google has come up with. There's not really a competitor on the market. There's no real wide scale way of checking this data. Google is kind of the leader in this market, so it's hard for us to know the accuracy. We can assume it's probably pretty good. Number two, in protecting individual users and protecting their proprietary data, this leads to a lot of thresholding in standard reporting in GA4, which is an issue. Thresholding is essentially they're just holding back the data. So you will see like entire pages, entire conversions, dollar amounts missing because it's too identifying. If you get look too close, you can sometimes tell who it came from or where it came from. And Google is protecting users' identities and their proprietary data. And additionally, you cannot currently use both your own user ID and Google Signals without getting kind of complicated and doing some workarounds. So that can just get a little weird. There are some ways around it, but it's a little weird. But you can get a way around some of the downsides of Google Signals by changing your reporting identity. GA4 allows you to change your reporting identity whenever you want. You can change it multiple times. And whatever you change in here will pull into what is in Google Data Studio. So change it in here, your reports in GDS will also change. Right now, it appears you can switch back and forth with no consequences. And it does apply retroactively. Can be good and bad if we know we're changing it. Also might be a little bad if people across departments are changing it. Things might get a little weird. Device-based here is really what currently a lot of experts are saying is the best. Again, though, we can change it back and forth. Device-based is also the most similar to how UA collects data. So it's going to be a little bit more familiar for us in terms of how that data is really collected. One thing that I did want to show is this is kind of an example of what the before and after looks like. So this was when it was not device-based here. It was in the blended reporting identity. And in here, you can see that's the little symbol for being thresholded. And this is the same pages and screens, page path and query and screen class. Right here, you can see 488 pages. Seems pretty normal. However, we come down here to the not thresholded report after changing the reporting identity. And here we have a 39,353. That's a really dramatic difference. And we are seeing when, depending on what reporting identity we're using, things are being thresholded out. We're not seeing conversions. We're not seeing users. So this is going to be something that we're all going to have to kind of know about and make the best decision for our clients. However, since we can go back and forth, this is not something that any of us need to worry about at this time. However, if people are having a hard time seeing some of their data, thresholding. Google Signals is a huge cause of thresholding. Oh, 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 oh,